The manual is a digital version of the user manual for the LT55 XL. This can be found in the File Help menu section. The About section gives you standard information about the LT55 software, such as copyright information. View Changes brings up a list of all the changes in the software. If your software has recently been updated, check this section to see what's new. Software updates are released to the public on the second Tuesday of every month. We wanted to keep a consistent release schedule so customers would be able to expect updates at a certain time. Clicking New will simply give you a blank drawing. Be careful, if you click New and do not save your work, it will be lost. Open allows you to open previously saved jobs. These can be opened from the SD card, the hard drive, the drop-in folder, or the advanced tab. The advanced tab allows you to open files that were saved somewhere else on the computer other than those specified locations. For example, if you copy a file onto your desktop and wish to open it, you would use the advanced tab, then navigate to the desktop, click the file you want to open, and click open. The job information portion of the software is where you would fill in the customer related information like job name, job number, and primary contact information. You can also mark the dates the job was templated, approved, and when it will be scheduled to be installed. We have added a name field next to each date to assign who will be taking care of each function. In the additional items tab, you can add any miscellaneous extras that you need to add to a job. Say you charge a flat fee for tear outs, you can add this in here. If you want, you can also put your customer agreement into the software and allow the customer to sign off on the job while at their house. We will show you how to put your customer agreement into our software in the options section of this video. In this section, you can also check the boxes to include the signatures on all estimates, notes, images, and photos. All this information can be added by the templater or back at the office on a second seat and emailed to the templater. The print option is where you would go to create your printed worksheets for the office and customers. Each page is separated so you can use different material if needed. Click the checkbox under Estimate if you want to include an estimate to the printout. Checking the mirror would be used if you want the drawing to be mirrored or viewed upside down. This is done if you want to allow the CNC operator to have a copy that shows how the slab is to be cut since it is cut upside down, or if the LT55 is being used upside down to do a tub deck or on its side using a backsplash so that it will appear normal as you are drawing it. You can change the cost per square foot as well as the thickness, edge type, and stone color by clicking in the boxes and typing in the correct information. Below the print details is another box where you can choose what to print. If you only want to print an estimate for page 1 for example, you would uncheck everything but the estimate and page 1. Once everything is selected and set up correctly, click create. A printout will then be created for you. This allows you to email it back to the shop or print it out on a printer. The shop sheet is similar to the printout, only that it includes more specific information for the shop. Options like sink model and cooktop information are added to this page. This is mostly used for the shop purposes only, but can be given to the customer if you want to. Some of these options can be customized to suit your needs. Contact us for details to discuss this. Save is used when you have already saved a job and just want to save the recent changes to it. Save as is used the first time you are saving a job. You must give it a job name. We suggest using a standard company policy for all jobs to keep your workflow consistent. Some companies use last name dot first name as the file name for the jobs. Some include the job number and some include the phone number. It is not important what you save the job as, only that you are consistent in the way you save the job. Also, all jobs can be saved to the SD card, the hard drive, the drop-in folder, or the advanced tab, just like open. And while we are on the topic of saving, this would be a great time to let you know where the job folder is created. If you have an SD card in tablet PC, it will be saved there. Otherwise, the default location is the My Documents folder. Located in this folder are the DXF files, estimates, photos, and the L55 file. The L55 file is a special file created by our software and can only be opened in our software. This file contains all the user-generated data like the job information, the customer information, and measured points up from the laser. Clicking File Email will bring up the email screen. 
This is where you can email the currently open job back to the office. You can fill in the to, subject, and messages section, and then check the boxes to the right to include certain files to the email. Be careful though, if you include the PDF files, photos, and shop drawings, it will be a substantially larger email and take a longer time to send. Sending just the L55 file and the DXF files keep the file sizes down and allows the email to send rather quickly. Creating an estimate will open a spreadsheet that will present you with basic job information including the customer's name and the mathematical information gathered from the job site. To take pictures of the job site, you will press Start Camera, then point the camera towards what you want to take the pictures of and press Capture. You can then view or delete the pictures. Make sure that after you take pictures, you save the job again. If you do not, the pictures will not be saved. Clicking Exit simply closes the software. We already discussed Connect to Laser before, but again, if the title bar shows Laser Disconnected, all you need to do is make sure the black box is on, indicated by a green LED, and then a USB cable is attached between the black box and the tablet PC. Then click Connect to Laser.